definitely have a huge benefit for having uh, nine weeks worth of training. Um, although we'd rather it be outside, being inside you have to be very careful of injury uh, and overuse, but what it does allow us to do is build a huge base of strength that you wouldn't normally get uh, with a team that might have an indoor season. Um, we can take our time with the athletes, uh, build them up slowly, um, get them very strong so once we do get outside uh, it allows us to really push them harder on the bigger track. Because it's nine weeks it does allow us to take a few days off that you wouldn't normally have in a time crunch of the beginning of a season. So we'll do pool days, uh, we spend time in our auxiliary gym, PepsiCo, doing drills. Uh, there are even days we have them play basketball or dodgeball, just something to break it up, keep the physical level up without actually um, beating on their legs too much. We shift our quality days to the beginning of the week, allowing them to recover at the back end of the week, giving them Saturday to hopefully run or jump or throw their best um, in a meet and throw their best in the meet. But, uh, so this way, even our season's only six weeks long if you don't qualify for a postseason championship. So we don't have really a problem with tempering them or keeping them down by now after nine weeks of training. It's a six week season, so they're in the spot where they want to start building and building. So the peak will just come naturally in about another three weeks. So. Um, we just have to let them, let them loose. An extremely exciting season because uh, we realized early on that, as you mentioned, there are really not many upperclassmen. Uh, oh, almost half of our team are freshmen and they're all quality impact um, people. So with this brought some newfound excitement. We have a couple of sophomores that are, are really big hitters on the track. So. We were already coming in with them in the back of our minds. We didn't realize what we were going to have and how many we were going to have in freshmen. So it's kind of brought a new light on uh, our possible school records um, in the, our postseason championships in qualifying, probably the most we'll ever qualify for postseason. The chemistry really clicked this year, and I think it has a lot to do with the variety of uh, people we got in. Some of the first year uh, athletes were multi-sport athletes, so they were coming from soccer teams and volleyball teams and swim teams. So they've already had a season of kind of team bonding, Babson lifestyle. Uh, so they really came in and embraced uh, the team and the program, which then fueled the other first year who weren't on another athletic team to uh, kind of jump right in with both feet. Uh, we have great leadership. The few seniors that we do have been um, just absolute role models. We have two of our captains have been captains for three years, so since their sophomore year. Um, our team is really built with a lot of leaders. Um, the nature of our sport, we have throwers and jumpers and sprinters and distance runners, and a lot of days they're practicing in different locations. Uh, so that really comes down to just because you're not a captain doesn't mean you're not a leader. A lot of upperclassmen step up. We even have freshmen who might be more experienced in an event, kind of take the reins and help the group develop from their experiences uh, that they've had. Successful season for the individual, I would think if they've gotten better PR'd in their event, um, is a success because as long as you're running faster than you ever have, you really don't have much to complain about. But as far as the team goes, yeah, first day we sat down and went through and wrote out specific goals for everyone, long-term, short-term, time-wise, place-wise, uh, looking at meets, big meets like New Max, how would you like to perform there, um, and then of course school records. Uh, and this included the coaches. Both coaches wrote out their goals and we post them all on one big bulletin board. So during those nine weeks of being inside, all practice long, we can look at the, the goal board 
and it, it gives us a little motivation to get outside.